A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve. But often, colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, what's going on, my sons? Gaming is our commander in chief, was 157, and we're back. Well, we haven't even started with Mafia 3. And so far, hey, I man, love those keys. I love the story. But, dude, my man, what is up with the graphics? What's up with the 30 FPS lock? What up with this game not getting up to 30? Oh, not 30. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He would grease his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, why take the chance? Yeah, 1080. This thing goes up to 1024p on PC. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Hold on. Oh my goodness, it still looks all grainy. Or grimy, just the the fucking What is this? It's like someone smudged the camera lens. 
Hey, what's why? Oh, it's for picking up. I can pick up bodies. Dude, would you shut up? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. No. I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> I was I didn't think that was gonna happen. They didn't even give me a damn tutorial. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Fuck Come you. On, let's get the hell out of here. Like, oh you got me. Not. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I want to go. I want to go. Can I not run? You get a move on. Let's go. I think this game was more for made for consoles and not PC. Funky Town. Let's get it. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. All right, so how do I change? Oh, no, wrong one. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, Someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Come on, you gonna answer the question or what? Yeah. We're on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better than one delicious fucking pig. Oh damn, they, can, they, they know how to make a story fucking dark before it's barely even begun. I kind of like the little interface they got going on with the driving. The little meter on the bottom and the rear view mirror on the top. The little ones love how far the am I to this area? Burger, a tiny burger that's just as I'm trying to figure out how in the world I change anything. With a toy. Oh, God. You're going to attack the cow. Well, shit. All of Hank's Fountain beverages come with spin-proof <laughs> lids. Hank's Burger Bar. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. America's favorite carry-out restaurant since 1932. You know, I thought it would be really cool if they at least put that portion in the game, like for the prologue, when he was inside of Nam. Guys at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Get him away, guys. Get him away. Oh, they to take his turn. This is gonna make it. Yep. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Missed my turn. Okay, turning it like a boss. Not hitting anything. All right. Back 
it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Oh, how much you want to bet I'm going to turn this game off when I hear that word? When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Okay, can I just walk? Okay, that's right, here sprint. we go. I just want to walk. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. Oh, well, fuck you too, man. Damn. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. I just can't get off on how bad this it's, it's, it doesn't look all bad I'm not gonna lie it looks really good but with just the effects on this thing if you like take it off if this was like a part of motion blur then taking it off would be good you need to check man. that scatter gun you packing anything still in training good one less goddamn thing for me to worry about you can pick it up on the way out Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. <laughs> Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. That young nigga who staggers in is hot on the spot. So nothing personal, right? These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. For the graphics, the brick and steel, and the way they got everything going around here? Damn good. But still can't get over there after that freaking Put those blurry on the table there. effect. Ugh. About to turn Pete Besson in this fucking before. bitch. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. No, I never was neither till I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus! God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> can I put him in there? Please tell me I can put him in there. I can't. God right, dang take it. Take those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, how do I take cover? Is that shift? No, shift is to uh, uh, left control. You know that house we've been renting now? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John. 
starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that, <laughs> I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at night to play cards. Oh, I told John when they came in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. Neighbors see that, they start questioning me, wanting to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas play cards uh, with other niggas, I say. Damn it. Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes. Sorry. It just gets my blood boiling. Okay, was there a way for me to whistle? I thought there was a way for me to whistle. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this guy to come on by. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Okay. Let's go, man. This place ain't gonna rob itself. Well, I'm trying not to get caught or leave any evidence. So, if you'd be a nice guy and help me out with these bodies, that'd be much appreciated. Okay? Okay. Come on, we need to get this vault open. Just let me hide the bodies. Can't leave no stone unturned. Oh, I hope this combination skeleton got us is legit. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Mm. Once these boys punch through that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Stick to the shotgun. Hell yeah. Nope. Come on. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Right now I'm just gonna stick with the pistol. I gotta change my freaking sen sensitivity. That's me! Excuse me. Sorry, you gotta take this. How did you not even try to kill me? I don't want aim assist. Get that shit out of here. God damn, we shall keep the harness next this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, help it! I need help? Oh, you need help. The hell do you need help for, dude? Fucking piece of shit open! Thing. Really? 
I need to do this. Expose the lock. Move the mouse until the cursor is in the green zone. It's not that hard. I thought it was gonna be very <laughs> tedious. Holy crap. Dude, I'm loving this so far. I mean, when you get past the graphics and shit, it's pretty good. Okay, did I get the health? I don't know. I don't know if I did or didn't. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. I'm going this side. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Okay, so many people were talking at once. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop the video here. Ed, if need be, give us in a hurry. And when we come back, we'll be seeing what's going on with the black mob and the Italian mob and how all this went down. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you, soldiers, in the next Bell Log.